हेलो एंड वेलकम टू एफ सी गोवा टी वी यूर वॉचिंग प्रूडेंट एंड आई एम नीरज प्रभु एफ सी गोवा हैव स्टॉम इन टू द फाइनल्स ऑफ द आई एस एल सीजन फाइव दिस इज द सेकेंड टाइम इन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ द इंडियन सुपर लीग दैट एफ सी गोवा हैव मेड इट टू द टाइटल क्लैश द लास्ट टाइम दे डिड इट ऑफकोर्स वॉज इन द सेकेंड सीजन एंड इट वॉज सच अ हार्ड ब्रेक इन जीकोज एरा दैट टाइम हाउ एवर अंडर सर्जियो लोबेरा FC Goa have uh, entered the finals for the first time and I know all Goans uh, will not be happy with just that and we need to go all the way and bring that trophy home I uh, saw a lot of fans expecting uh, the Goans to bring that trophy home so they came to the stadium last night uh, with uh, various banners saying it's coming home Although Mumbai uh, City FC scored a 1-0 victory in their return leg it was just a moral victory for uh, uh, the visitors while FC Goa had done the uh, hard work with a stunning 5-1 victory in the first leg and uh, almost ensured the final uh, spot so last night's uh, victory for mumbai was of little consequence and doesn't even matter so we look ahead to the finals where fc goa will uh, take on the might of bengaluru fc who have uh, secured their spot in the finals for the second season in a row to begin with though we will uh, assess fc goa's road to the finals uh, with uh, our attention on uh, Uh, the playoffs of 180 minutes and how fc goa fared against uh, mumbai city fc and as always we have in our studio former india striker francis de souza francis uh, fc goa the deserving uh, uh, finalists uh, uh, behind uh, bangalore city fc yes definitely they des- uh, that's what i had predicted right from the beginning uh, the quality of players the performance they have put up during this entire tournament uh, with a little bit of uh, hiccups here and there uh, but uh, overall they have been a strong contenders for this year's ISL as i said before and uh, uh, very rightly so uh, they they ended up the story in the first leg itself with mumbai and what a way to achieve it uh, uh, yes. they knew that uh, they had even after they knowing that they had defeated uh, uh, mumbai fc in the league phases uh the semi final was a different ball game their approach their mindset their attitude and the way about uh, they went about getting the result in mumbai was just exceptional i mean they played well uh mumbai fc played well in the first 45 uh, in the first leg but uh, then suddenly they couldn't keep the shape and uh, the defense cramped up uh, under pressure of fc goa and fc goa has a tremendous advantage because the quality of players the football that they play the possession football that they play and the control that they have and uh, every every player in uh, most of the players in uh, uh, fc goa is coming good at this time right and jahu being exceptionally good uh, uh, then you have brandon also playing very well uh, and uh, jackie chang also doing uh, uh, some good uh, showing us some good football so i think it was a well deserved uh, place to be there in the finals and i hope uh, like you say most of the fans are saying that uh, it's coming home this time and uh, and i hope uh, i'm sure about it that it should come home this time right uh, putting into perspective uh, the first leg and uh, the return leg fc goa's uh, uh, result a 5-1 result almost uh, felt like uh, work uh, done and yesterday uh, players uh, and maybe it's the human tendency to you know fall back and uh, take it uh, play well within themselves to conserve their energy for the finals is it like that yeah you know uh, the difference between both the legs is is that you you have uh, pretty set uh, the tone for the finals in the first leg itself and when you come uh, for the second leg with a 5-1 lead uh, human nature after all uh, complacency always creeps in Uh, their body language was very evident with the little warming up that they were doing uh, as, as they approached the game you could see that uh, players although they were uh, serious about the second leg but uh, it's natural that uh, there'll be a little bit of a, a relaxing nature that creeps into you uh, being a football player myself i mean uh, you have a you have a high score uh, right. already in your uh, in your kitty and uh, and 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 it depends on the opponent team how good they come there and mumbai fc uh, made a game of this uh, sure. second semi final to earn that respect yes. and very rightfully they have earned the respect 
that they wanted. But uh, having said all that, uh, Neeraj, I must tell you that there were exceptional performances in both these legs uh, by Murtada Fall Absolutely. and the goalkeeper. Naveen I mean, Kumar. look at the number of saves the goalkeeper made in the first leg and the second leg itself. I mean, it could have, it could have, it could tell a different story altogether. And these were the heroes of that uh, victories, both the victories. Uh, of course, uh, we we got goals. One of them or two of them were brilliant goals. Uh, but overall, the saves that uh, Naveen, Naveen made, uh, even yesterday, there was one yes. versus one uh, save uh, after having scored the first goal, Mumbai FC. Uh, that could possibly have a different dimension to mm. the games. Uh, not that uh, FC Goa would not wake up after the uh, second goal, but uh, uh, you know it could have uh, different. Yeah, little, it could have been a little yeah. desperate uh, yeah. situation. It could have turned a little bit, you yeah. know, and uh, made it more more interesting mm. and put a lot of pressure on FC Goa. So I think Mumbai FC did well yesterday by trying to get that respect coming and performing here. They were able to keep the shape in the first half as well as the second half. And that's how they succeeded in keeping that 1-0 score. Right. And as usual, uh, FC Goa was a little bit uh, relaxed, didn't go all out, didn't pressurize so much as they did in the first half. But what amuses me and what uh, puzzles me more is, is the confrontation that these FC Goa players uh, got into games yesterday, like Jahu. You know, getting the yellow card and getting into confrontation with the referee and all. Because uh, they were more to lose than a Mumbai FC. Right. You see, they had, they had to see themselves not being carded or red card or, or injury because they knew that they were already there in the finals. So, their game plan should have been that, you know, avoid all, all the uh, unnecessary... Keep meat. your cool. Yeah, and keep your cool. So, you know, that's what I thought uh, wasn't uh, there yesterday from FC Goa. But I think the coach was very astute enough and he uh, replaced Jahu immediately uh, before the end of the first half uh, so that uh, there wouldn't be any more problem like another card and he could miss the final. Yes, that's rightly so. You know, when players play, they don't really have uh, their mind there. But the, it's, a coach, it's a coach that who can foresee things and very rightly he substituted Jahu because he, he is the man he can, they cannot afford to miss in the finals. Absolutely. And very rightly so. Although I think uh, Jahu never liked uh, being substituted. Yes. He yesterday. was livid. He just walked uh, inside yeah, the tunnel. Tunnel. So, uh, it doesn't matter. Individuals don't matter. The team comes first. Sure. The interests of the team come first. And that's what Lovera did. And hats off to him, you know, because he took that step at the right time. And uh, also took took away Koro, you know, at, at the fag end. Yes. Uh, he needs a little rest. Maybe. Yeah, because he, you have to give importance to the final. So that that Even was Brandon, the story. Brandon yeah. was that was the off. story of the match yesterday. Right, uh, but fall uh, is our new wall, and the way the Senegalese defender performed in both the uh, playoff uh, legs against Mumbai City FC, it was just incredible. Hats off to this towering defender who works at both the ends because it was his uh, couple of headers that gave FC Goa the the great impetus to, to go on and uh, score a big win in Mumbai. Uh, Fall's signing has been just immaculate uh, by Lobera. He knew the player. The player, player knew uh, Lobera and uh, uh, he just came to FC Goa brushing off uh, a lot of offers from uh, Gulf countries. Uh, Murtada Fall has been a key player now for FC Goa. Yeah, 31 years old and uh, the way he's performing is remarkable. And I think he brought all the strength, the confidence back in that defence which was missing. I think his uh, calmness, his coolness, and his uh, eye for his his penchant for going for goals yes. in those dead ball situations, I think uh, makes him more, more valuable player in the FC Goa side. And I think yeah, you if you see if you see if you seen him yesterday, he's being heckled, he's been um, uh, pushed around, but he keeps his cool, and that's the hallmark of a good good defender. In central defenders always have to keep their cool, and, and that's how he avoided uh, so many bad problems for uh, FC Goa. Uh, he has nicking the ball in time for a corner. He intercepts very well, and and this goal he scored in the yes, first in uh, first leg in Mumbai was just piece of exceptional individual brilliance. Right, and the way he nullified uh, the threat of Modu Sogu, who was another Golden Boot contender, he was to be him like a like a shadow. Yeah, two Senegal players playing yes. against each other. I mean, it, it, it was a real nice contest yeah. within the contest. They were playing pride of, for their country. And, and that's what we saw yesterday uh, there. But uh, Murtada Fall uh, ultimately won that battle against his colleague. 
and uh, I think uh, very rightly deserved uh, because he, he has improved with uh, the progress of the tournament and he has he has brought strength back to the defence. Right. Uh, well, uh, Francis mentioned that Mumbai had to come out and do something to restore their pride and that was exactly what uh, Mumbai City FC coach Jorge Costa felt like his boys had achieved. Uh, they had done uh, their job and ended the season on a positive note. Of course, it wasn't enough to reverse the result. But the Portuguese uh, former international World Cupper Jorge Costa said he is uh, really proud to be the coach of Mumbai City uh, FC team. And here is his uh, uh, post-match uh, press conference address. We made a, a uh, I'd like to tell that for us after the, the first game, um, without time to, to recover, uh, not physically but mentally. And I'm very happy with the, with the answer that they gave today in the, in the game. And you know, uh, I will speak other things. I will answer you, uh, but uh, first let me tell you that uh, I'm very proud to be, to be the head coach of this, of this team and to have worked with these with his players during one, one season. Uh, it was very important for us today, as if you want, to, to, to clean our image after the, the first game, to finish the season uh, with some dignity. Uh, I told after the first game that it was almost impossible to change the, the result and I was not making my games. Uh, but it was important for us to, 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 to be serious, uh, to respect our job, to respect the club, to respect the, the league. And we did it. Uh, we won on zero, of course it's, 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 it's different than if we draw or we lose, um, it's nothing because we'll not play the, the final. But especially after losing 5-1, uh, I think the, the boys, they, 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 they made a, a wonderful uh, job, wonderful work. Uh, and and that's it. And I'm, I will tell you again that I'm very, very, very proud uh, of all the things that we did this this season um, to finish in the top four. I'm sad to don't play the, the final, and I have this feeling that I wanted to play again home just to see if. We have this capacity to, but football is like this. Uh, we make mistakes. Uh, I hope that we learn the, the lesson, and next year we'll be here uh, to fight for for something more than what we achieved this this year. Well, uh, Jorge Costa had after that 5-1 uh, beating, he had uh, said in the press conference in Mumbai that uh, it's over and he doesn't think that his team has the potential to reverse the result and he had considered the tie. But last night he said he's really proud to be the team, uh, coach of the team. He was repeatedly uh, stressing that he was proud to be the coach of Mumbai City team. Yeah, obviously emotions get the better of you, Neeraj. And uh, at that point of time in the first leg, I think he saw that the score was huge. It was a mountain to climb yes. uh, with the players he had. and. Uh, and I think uh, what uh, Mumbai FC did was uh, ultimately uh, got themselves that respect and and this and 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 the and the glory of beating Goa in their hometown, in the home grounds. Uh, so so that, only the second time Goa lost at home this season. Yes, that's the second time. And uh, you know it was always uh, a, a fight to get that respect back. And uh, and the players showed uh, what caliber they have. Uh, and they, and yesterday they they delivered, and uh, and the del the victory was possible because in the second half also they played a very consolidated game 
kept you the ship well and they knew they worked to a plan and that plan succeeded right uh, and he also said that uh, he likes it in the isl and uh, the way the things are organized a few things that he would change he didn't uh, reveal what were the, those things but he uh, disclosed that he is uh, in here as the coach of mumbai city team for another year so a boost for mumbai probably to do better next season you yeah. can plan now for yeah definitely year. this is his first year coming yes. to mumbai and he has got mumbai fc in the last four uh, so that will creditable for him uh, knowing uh, not knowing uh, the setup of isl yes. coming here for the first time and i think he'll be better prepared next year having to continue uh, with mumbai fc again here he knows really exactly now uh, his recruitment policies uh, his approach towards the tournament in the isl 6 so i think it'll give him an give him an idea of what he has what has to be done uh, for success and having reached here i think he and the experience he has i think he he will he will be it mumbai fc will be a tough team in the coming competition right so fc goa now face bangalore fc the team that has done double over the gods in the league phase this season when fc goa coach sergio lobera was asked by the journalist who would he would have preferred to play in the finals whether the injury crippled northeast united or the mighty bangalore fc the answer of uh, lobera was straight that i am an ambitious coach and i would love to face bangalore fc uh, listen in to him uh, first and then we'll come back and discuss with francis <laughs> este rato porque creo que la primera parte ha sido una primera parte no buena para nosotros no ha sido el mejor partido evidentemente para nosotros no uh, expecting not the worst because I wasn't expecting the, the first half that we had because it wasn't good for us pero hasta cierto punto puede ser normal creo que hay una final muy cerca creo que el resultado era amplio todos los jugadores están pensando en, en jugar esa final Eh, no tener tarjetas, eh, no, en que no haya lesiones y cuando los jugadores inconscientemente en el campo están pensando eso, el nivel de intensidad no es el mismo. Bueno, well, I, I think till a certain point this can be normal because with that uh, huge advance advantage that we brought from uh, Mumbai and, and the final being that close, I can uh, imagine that some of the players may be thinking of no, already playing that final, no getting booked, no getting injured. Uh, coach. What was the reason behind the early substitution of the... Bueno, eh, porque tenía una tarjeta amarilla y tal y como estaba el partido en esa zona del campo, en el medio campo, con muchas pérdidas de balón, eh, era demasiado riesgo. Creo que se han juntado las dos cosas, la tarjeta amarilla y, y que tampoco estaba todo lo bien eh, que él puede estar. Para México, Rodríguez de Quiero Car, um, the Chile de Milfield area, it was very busy with a lot of uh, loose possession, and there were basically two things. Okay, he got the yellow card, and also today I think he was at his best. Coach, uh, how was the defeat upset you, especially because it came, uh, it came in the semi-final second leg, and also because it came, in, uh, it came at home in the last match that was played at home. So does that make you more upset about the loss? Si miramos los resultados que ha habido hasta ahora, evidentemente Bengaluru son los favoritos. Eh, 
uh, if we look only at the two uh, figures, uh, uh, sorry, the two fixtures, we have a win rate against them and uh, take a the, the favorites. But we are a good team and we will confront this final, despite the fact that I think they are the favorites to win it. But we are going to approach uh, this, uh, this final, trying to win, despite I, I consider Bengaluru is the, the favorite. Because you think uh, Bangalore vs FC Boys is, is the final that everybody probably wanted, every neutral wanted, because these are the two best teams in the league. Well, I think that, that, yes, that at the end, after 180 minutes of the game, those who get to reach the final. Eh, son los que merecen estar ahí. ¿no? Yo creo que los dos equipos hemos hecho una, una buena temporada. Espero que sea una final bonita, una final que puedan disfrutar todos los aficionados, que podamos eh, dar un gran espectáculo y, y ojalá pues ganaremos nosotros. Um, I think after 180 minutes, uh, whoever um, is in the final is because he keeps the service. Uh, both teams we have done like a very good um, season. And I think uh, in the final we can see and uh, we can, you know, so the, the supporters are great, great show and uh, hopefully we can bring back the trophy. Yeah, uh, coach, uh, Bengaluru had a very difficult semi final against North East United, over hit by a number of injuries. Would you have preferred a North East over Bengaluru in the finals? Yo, sinceramente, eh, soy un entrenador ambicioso y me ha quedado una espirita clavada de los dos partidos que no hemos podido ganar a Bengaluru. Por lo tanto, eh, me gusta enfrentarme en la final a Bengaluru. Uh, to be honest, I'm a very ambitious uh, coach. Um, you know, uh, if, still itching from those two games that we played in against Bengaluru, so actually I want to face them in the final. <laughs> Por cierto, me gustaría enviar un mensaje de apoyo, de mucha fuerza, mucho ánimo a Gallego, jugador de Morgis, por la lesión que tuvo ayer. Eh, es duro ver esto en el fútbol y espero que se recupere pronto y que pueda estar donde mejor lo hace, que es en el terreno de juego. Uh, also, I would like to send my support and my best wishes uh, to Gallego, uh, Northeast player, because of the year. Uh, hopefully, he is back when he where he knows how to do the best, uh, which is in the pitch. Thank you very much. Well, uh, Francis, uh, we have seen enough of Lobera to know that he is really a uh, straightforward person and very, very astute uh, technician as well. And uh, no surprise there that he wants to settle the score with Bangalore FC, who is also coached by Spanish uh, Carles Codrat. Yeah, I mean, definitely. Uh, you, the coach always well, likes to beat the stronger team on uh, on form uh, for the competition and then uh, achieve your uh, if your goal. I mean, uh, he knows the team he has got, the quality he has in his team, and how his team has been performing uh, in the entire tournament, and what they are capable of bringing up to the game in the finals. Uh, so that has given him the confidence of how confident he is facing Bengaluru. Uh, Bengaluru is is a team that will fight back into the competition. They are a very compact, very very good team, uh, very balanced team. And you have seen them fighting for uh, the equalizer in the last semi-final, second right. semi-final at home. And what they are able to bring to the game, Miku, Udanta, you know, these are the players, even uh, Chetri. Chetri, these are the players who can change the complexion of the match in a short period of time. And every opportunity can be converted by these players. So, we have a team uh, equally balanced uh, for the finals, uh, FC Goa and Bengaluru. And we, we, we are having a very rock, uh, you know, uh, fantastic game at, uh, in the finals. Because the two top teams who have been consistent Absolutely. and playing very well in the competition are there in the final this year. Both, both yes. these teams were uh, uh, placed sec first on points, 34 points to end the league phase. So, very little to separate. Uh, between these two teams. Yeah, and if you see the performance of this team, both this team, except for a few a few games yes. that Bengaluru went off uh, and even Goa, but they were they were the most uh, consistent teams and performing teams 
uh, and they had the caliber to give good performances right to the tournament and they have proved that they can come back in the game even if they had a bad day out uh, in between but uh, i think the best two teams have come to the finals and that that's that should give part. us the best uh, performance in the finals do you think man to man uh, bangalore fc are uh, more stronger than us or do you think uh, fc goa's uh, way of working the team uh, the the way they move forward or defense uh, defend in numbers is a trump card over bangalore fc see i think uh, fc goa has has uh, uh, um, ability of keeping the ball possession for a long time and moving forward uh, they don't lose the ball very often uh, they they are little as they go they go forward and with koro and also jackie chang coming in now and even brandon playing very well i mean uh, there are a team that can create a difference on a given day provided their performance is uh, good on that particular day and like i always said before the team that performs the performs on the particular day gives us their best uh, on on the day uh, will definitely succeed and i think we we have a rocker of a uh, final league. right uh, lobera believes that bangalore are the favorites because they have beaten fc goa twice and fc goa are the underdogs uh, but if you look uh, at the match up in another angle which will tell you that bangalore have struggled to find their flow after the international break whereas fc goa have been the form team getting to the finals so do you think fc goa should be the favorites rather than bangalore fc no i think you know both the teams are very balanced teams uh, they have their own style of playing and fc goa has their own style of playing the the styles that both the teams adopt is different to each other so i think Uh, the team that really performs on the particular day it's about individual players like miku danta chetri and uh, you know uh, they are coming good at the particular time and if you see koro koro uh, jao and edo bedia and brandon if they come good there i mean they are quite capable of upsetting the other team so it it, it will depend how this individual are shaping up on that particular day and how well they perform right. because i think they are very well aware, aware of the competitive uh, nature of this match this final because you have a balanced team playing against another team but don't take away the quality of the goan uh, team and and the way they have been playing consistently keeping the ball possession i think makes makes them little more favorite than bengaluru so what is your prediction for this big final it's hard to predict uh, you know because you have good players like miku and company on the other side and you have koro the highest boot golden boot fellow in, in your team and so it depends i like i said it's is going to be a very very close match it's a cracker of a final and i think the fans and everybody will love to watch this final there at mumbai and i think the players will go out and give their best yeah, but is there a threat that both these teams can cancel each other out and it could go to the penalties No, I think we should have a score in the normal time because we have Koro and they have Miku there and Chetri there and, and on the other side. I think we'll have some uh, score in the first uh, regular time. We hope so uh, for a great contest and of course the result uh, for FC Goa. Though, thank you very much, uh, Francis, uh, for being with us as always and looking forward to these finals and hope to see you in Mumbai. Keep watching uh, Prudent. Goodbye for now.